episode of the Cardinal Film Fights, we're starting off with a bang with our Halloween episode, which explains why I, Fixit Felix, am dressing like Mark Rollins today. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm Mark Rollins dressing like Fixit Felix. I got my golden hammer. Shout out to my dad for making this golden hammer. It looks great doesn't actually fix things. It really just breaks them, as three TV screens will evidence that. Um, but today, we have a show for you. We have Skylar, Brandon, and Haley. I'm going to ask them to introduce themselves, give their name, their major, and also what year in Ball State they are. So we'll start at this end with Skylar. Hello, my name is Skylar Wilson. I am at tele Telecommunications Digital Video Productions. Say that three times faster. And I'm a senior. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> uh, my name is Brandon Carson. I'm a sophomore. I was a theater major last year, and now I'm a journalism major with a theater minor. I am Haley, and I am a sophomore, and my major is telecommunications, digital video production. So what, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a question <laughs> that's kind of open-ended meaning that there's not a definite answer, definition of the day. So I'm going to give them a question. They're going to have a minute for, to introduce what they picked and why for this question. Then they're going to have a five-minute forum where they duke it out, fight each other, tear each other down, build, each other, build themselves up, followed by a 30-second conclusion in which they can take all their arguments, wrap it all in a nice, nice neat bow, and then I will make a decision on who won. Did you like the, the pause? Did we, the, the pause? I thought the pause was nice. Dramatic pause. Yes. Also, um, don't forget to hit our like and subscribe button on um, the, the YouTube, the tube of you. And also, like us and follow us on Twitter. And do we, do we still have a Facebook page? Yeah, we do. Cool. And Instagram. <laughs> That's a thing now. <laughs> it's been a thing for a while, and it still is. So let's get right into it. Today's question, fears, horror, Halloween, th these things we associate with Halloween. <laughs> but what is the worst horror? And I don't mean worst horror like as the most detrimental, but worst horror as in it's just bad. What is the worst horror movie? We're going to start with one minute intros. We're going to start with Haley, go to Brandon, and finish with Skylar. Okay. Well, for my worst horror movie, I picked Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. I know what you're thinking. I just really love Michael Myers, but I promise you that's not the only reason that it's an awful movie. Um, there's really no character to get attached to. Uh, the villain has no motive at all. Um, and it's just, it can't decide on a killing theme. Like, at least other movies can decide what actually is going to kill people. In this, you kind of have, like, superhuman robot henchmen that are pulling people's heads off, but then also you just have, like, haunted masks that turn your flesh into bugs and snakes. And it's just a really weird movie, poorly written and poorly acted, and I don't suggest watching it at all and it just brings the Halloween franchise down detrimentally <laughs> all right move right on to Brandon all right so um, I got to give a shout out to John Tron from YouTube for this um, my movie is Birdemic shock and terror uh, this movie was made with like ten dollars from a guy <laughs> who does not know how to make a movie awful quality awful camera work wooden acting awful audio that just kind of spikes up and spikes down in some places. There's these scenes that don't make any sense and have nothing to do with the movie whatsoever. There's a, uh, a global warming like cause to all of this, and, but they bring in these random characters to just talk about it for a second. It has nothing to do with the movie at all. And uh, there's also this one scene that I really want to talk about soon that just it's amazing, but it's awful and terrible. Um, yeah, just, and oh, oh, and the first like 40 minutes of the movie, nothing happens to these characters and they just walk around and we get to see their day. That's it. <laughs> and we'll finish it up with Skylar. Oh, forgot to introduce before we do that, that was Paige on the bell. She makes an incredible bell impression with her, with her bell. Yes. <laughs> and then we have Vaughn on the fact checking, checking our facts. 
And then we'll go on to Skyler. Sorry about that interruption. Five dollars and fifty cents, one hour and thirty minutes, which I'm never going to get back after watching The Nun. Summing up, The Nun is nothing special. There, it, it has a strong premise with a great setting, so but somehow, some way, with an entire team and a great budget, it sucks ass. Literally, all the best scares were ruined from trailers, and even the scares themselves are lackluster. And even the marketing, which is perhaps the most scariest part of the whole film, doesn't even come close, like representing what the movie was about in The Nun, where it's just a whole bunch of guys just like creeping, like freaking out, but a whole bunch of idiots as well. Like, oh, what's, oh my God, you're buried on the ground. But we gotta see this person, so, so we gotta do that shit. So, yeah, The Nun. Don't watch it. All right, all right. We're going to go straight into our five-minute form. So let's get started. Okay, can we just agree here that all these movies suck? Yeah. Can we just agree yeah. on that? Okay. So no matter who wins here, we lose. <laughs> all right? Okay. Just preface that. So I'm going to go with your movie here. So mm -hmm. I am not going to lie. That movie looks like shit. It looks like ass. It is. However... There is an enjoyment factor you can probably get from watching that movie. Like, it is just one of those movies, it's just so bad, it's good. But even then, you know the movie's going to be bad, so it's not that great. Whereas, for me, The Nun, the reason why I picked that to be the worst horror movie is because it has the budget. It was set in a great setting in the Conjuring universe. But somehow, someway, they managed to fuck it all up. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. I, I did see The Nun... Um I was actually going to see this movie searching, but then they said that uh, there were too many people wanting to see The Nun, so I had wait. to see The Nun. So wait, I saw wait. it, and there was uh, there were a couple scary moments in it for me, at least that I and I they and at least they had like a big budget. I think um, for The Nun, it has a lot of jump scares. It relies a lot on jump scares, but that's, that's we'll something that later. a lot of people enjoy. But here's another thing: is yeah. that like all these jump scares are pointless. Literally, there was a guy who was like w following this one chick in the woods, and it was like, like chick, chick walks by, chick walks to the noose around her, noose around, chick gets hanging on the tree, chick falls down, chick turns into a zombie. It's like, what the fuck is all this shit? It, it, it makes no sense. Nevertheless, it still is enjoyable then, for some people. And then, yeah. and then there's a scene where like the the main character is buried on the ground, and the chick is like burying it. Dig him back up, and it's like, wait, how you got bear on the ground? I'm like, I don't know. Okay, let's just move on to the next scene here. There's, there's no fucking sense. The logic in this movie is inconsistent the entire time of it. And whereas your movie, granted though, the movie, again, it sucks. However, it does something different to the Halloween movie, and it's what it should have done with, from Halloween 2 as being as like an anthology film. Mm -hmm. So let's which, hear more about Halloween. Well, a big point that I wanted to bring up, um, because I know Birdemic is an awful movie, um, <laughs> but uh, the reason why I would uh, say that Halloween 3 is worse is a big part of the budget, and I know your film also had a big budget, so like Birdemic had like a $10,000 budget and still has what? kind of like that uh, it's so bad it's good feel, and Halloween had, the third Halloween had $2.5 million budget. Um, but yet still couldn't save itself and had awful look to it completely. But, but, but even then, though, but even then though, Halloween th 3 actually had better kills than The Nun, whereas in The Nun, you just, like, have one chick is get pulled into the darkness and never be seen again, and then you have another nun who gets hanged, which that was actually pretty cool. If you consider better that. kills a superhuman robot henchman ripping a guy's head off, then sure. Dude, that shit, but, that shit so sounds awesome. But at, at least, but at least, like, Halloween 3 had that. Birdemic has this whole scene 40 minutes into the movie where nothing about birds happens. Nothing <laughs> at all. It's just watching these characters go through their daily lives where everything is good happening to them um these birds come out of nowhere and start suicide bombing with plane sounds onto <laughs> these uh onto this Which like shot hilarious. this one <laughs> shot of the house okay but now you can get enjoyment from this exactly but yes. it's awful it is terrible that that doesn't just because you can get enjoyment out of it doesn't no make it a thing from my there's film. another I part in the you. movie where you see these cgi birds <laughs> oh my God. come out and these people, that our main characters, come out with coat hangers and go like this to attack the birds. <laughs> yes, you can get an enjoyment out of it, but that is 
just awful. But even then, even then though, your okay, your movies we remember like being it's so bad it's good. It's gonna be remembered the entire time. Whereas none, it's just again nothing special, and legit like. It, it's 2018 right now, so horror movies should have gotten better. But instead, it d- does the same tropes by providing jump scares and the whole let's split up. Because after, even after the legit in the f- fucking ending of the movie, when a zombie nun just came back to life and they burned her and they decided to go to the catacombs, they were like, okay, let's split up now. It's like, what the fuck? Like, you just got attacked by a zombie nun here. Or you're like, are going to split up? It's like, oh, yeah, it makes sense. Let's do it. But yeah, no, all these characters are dumb as shit. They uh, legit. I'm pretty sure that. Let's they... get back to Halloween three in the <laughs> last twenty seconds. Okay. Um. Well, I do also want to point out that uh, John Carpenter and Nigel Neal, some of the writers, actually didn't like the movie so much that they wanted. They asked for their names to be removed as writers in the ending credits. So that's something to think about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to end it off there. Again, none is nothing special. Okay, I've always okay. wanted to use that pun. Thank you, Paige. So, we're going to go do our 30-second um, conclusions. We'll start with Skyler, go Brandon, and finish off with Haley. Again, it is 2018. Horror movies should have gotten better over time. And I'm actually disappointed that you choose to watch this. You choose to watch a nun instead of the surgeon here. That is the biggest no. violation right there. But even then... With none being connected to the Conjuring universe, you expect that the movie should be somewhat decent, but yet it is largely forgettable, and it still uses the same fucking tropes that we've seen time and time again. Again, nothing special. Okay, so um, I guess the point that I'm trying to make is even though it ha- it's funny how bad it is, it's barely a movie with how bad it is. There's nothing going on in the first 40 minutes of the movie. Everything looks awful. Everything sounds awful. The camera work is awful. The actors are wooden, and you don't care about any of the characters that go on. And there's this forced message, even though I agree with it, there's a forced message that's just thrown in that takes you completely out of the movie. Uh, Birdemic is barely a movie, and at least, yeah. Okay. And Haley. Okay, so I um, mainly just want to hit on the fact of Birdemic's uh, budget being very low. And yes, it's very bad, and um, and it still has an enjoyable factor. And The Nun also has an enjoyable factor to some audiences. And you even said that it has a strong premise and a strong setting, which is something that um, Halloween 3 lacks. <laughs> um, and just the embarrassment that the actual crew of Halloween felt. Okay, any facts, Vaughn? Um, about John, Carp- John Carpenter and Nigel Neal asking to have their names removed from Halloween 3, I was only able to find evidence that Nigel Neal, a writer, wanted his name removed. I couldn't find evidence that John Carp- Carpenter did. That's so bad, though. Yeah, I okay. just wanted to point that out. So, hmm. so I guess this touches upon the question, for my judging eyes, on what constitutes the phrase worst horror movie is it a movie that's not it's a horror movie but it's not memorable or is it a movie that does badly at being a horror movie these are the questions that keep me up in these five minutes (laughs) so that's how you know i'm thinking um i'm going to give First place to Haley. Second place to Brandon and Skyler. I'm going to give you third place today. Do do I get points for the pun? You do. You do. You get extra points. Yes. You get get the pun points. All right. I won. Okay. So, my reasoning Haley, I think you made an excellent point that this kind of fits in the both category. It's not good horror wise, and it's just not good movie making. There's nothing enjoyable to be had from this movie in any context and the fact that writers want to be left off of this movie (laughs) ain't helping it in any way um brandon i think you made a good point that this is not a horror movie by any stretch of the imagination and it's not compelling in that the first 40 minutes is um is very uninteresting um However, I think Birdemic has lived on as a cult classic. I've heard o- often of it in the cult classic. 
Um, so in, in the comedic world, it has merit. And then Skylar, I think the problem was, is even though The Nun is not a remarkable horror movie by any stretch of the imagination, it hits enough of the criteria where it's a passable horror movie. Can you say the pun, though? Can you say the pun? Yeah. It's nothing special. Yes! <laughs> nothing special. So, to recap, Haley, first place, Brandon, second place, and Skylar, third place. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Cardinal Film Flights. Remember to like, subscribe, follow, retweet. Are there any other verbs I'm missing? Uh, post to your wall. <laughs> <laughs> Some, is that a post to your wall? <laughs> send to your grandmother. Um, our our stuff on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm Mark Rollins as Fix It Felix for this Halloween episode, and thank you for watching.